Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back. Welcome back to Imperator Rome, where we're making Sparta great again. Or, well, it has never been so great, so we're making it great. And that's all there is. Uh, someone stole our step horses, so we have no horse archers to reinforce our armies if that's needed. Which makes me very sad, but what can you do? Next thing we have to deal with is now the disloyalty of the new provinces we conquered. Which would be Dindaria, Moesia, and that's about it. Two, then. Dindaria, you're up here. Let's see if you can get you a trade route that might make your people happier. I'm guessing there's going to be plenty of freemen. So we can get the freemen happiness up. That's a start. Now that's all for the civic power we have. In fact, that actually make them happy. Yeah, they're over 50. Uh, they're over 50. Let's see. Let's show me the that thing. Uh, so Dindaria is still going down. And Moesia is still going down. Okay. So Dindaria is this stuff up here. They seem happy-ish. Promote this dude. Uh, convert this dude. Assimilate this dude. There you go. That made him. That made him happier. Slaves seem unhappy a bit. We can fix that when we get more civic power. Get ya sent me some money. Good. Uh, you guys uh, need some buildings, by the way. We can build some marketplaces. There and there. Uh, looks like some places grew up while we were running around. So we can build some more stuff. It's always good. A couple more marketplaces. I mean, we have the money. Uh, there's the hordes. You, bring your horses down this way. If the horde wants to smack, we can smack. So Getia is these guys. Hmm. They're fighting dudes. Fighting dudes. Oh, here they come. Let's hope my horses are fast enough. These are the OG horses, not the other horses. That's a le level 10 leader, but we are really outflanking them. So this shouldn't be bad, because right now you can see we have three horses on each side. Well, two, kind of. Actually, how is this? Hmm. Not all of our men are employed right away and they're using extra tactics which is obnoxious but anyway this guy is still hitting uh, these guys over here so we're definitely flanking them and morale is still better on our side they have a better leader which is obnoxious but oh well right right oh well now show me uh, uh, Dindaria is still going down, and so is Moesia. We killed the barbarians. Perfect. So where are you gonna go not to suffer attrition here? This place is big. Well, very, very unhappy apparently as well. Getya, you can have access. If you want it, you can have it. It's fine. Uh, we need... Oh, don't, don't, you don't need to move. Let's see, we need some civic power. Is it 25 still? I'm guessing it, no, it's, uh, yeah, there we have 26. Uh, so let's, oh, we don't have any happiness stuff. Obnoxious. Obnoxious, no vines, olives and such. Supply limit is useless here. Earthenware for some research points. No, I need to make these guys happy. So I need to give them something that's gonna make them happy. So this one, this one is loyal. Interesting, we just have two places over here, but this one is loyal. Horses and wine. Perfect. Hmm. Moesia. How's your trade routes? You have the, the some of the happiness, do you? Tribesman happiness, at least. Citizen happiness, very, very much needed. 
Apparently we're producing extra in Dindaria. Perfect. So let's uh, see if that's gonna make you happy enough. That was Moesia, right? You guys can walk into my lands if you want to. Who are you fighting? Rome! Oh boy. Roman Dalmatian War. So it begins. Rome is getting down here. How many cohorts do you have? 136. No manpower. Rough money. Oh, it would be nice fighting you. And by nice, I mean... Eh. Eh. It's debatable how nice. I mean, we have 170 cohorts and we could really pump out a lot more. But first, how about we make some unhappy people a bit happier? Is there 12? Is there 24? Let's, uh, you guys have these extra stuff. You have extra... Uh, oh, nice. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna have to make you a bit happier. Convert this guy. Simulate this guy. Which is the biggest place around here. So we don't need two forts here. Well, they are both mountain forts, so that's not too bad. Uh, he's fine. As long as you are over 50, we said it's fine. I wanted to promote him instead of assimilating, but that's fine. And now we don't have the money. Yeah. How about some conversions? We need some conversions. You're Hellenic already. There's no conversions for you. Which of these guys are Hellenic? No, these guys are not. Wow, these guys really hate me. You can have stuff. Can we get you a new trade route. Oh yes, stream and happiness. Do it. Do it. Zero six. Moesia zero twenty two. Yeah. Just uh, trying to fix this one before the other one, I guess. And uh, you know what? This is also not gonna help. So switching that around would be nice. What? We have the money, right? How about we go here and we buy some of that? It was a lot of money, I know. But uh, it's gonna help. Not having this policy over here, just do borderlands. Uh, just do acquisition of wealth. Let's get some money. That should be better because it should fix the uh, unrest, right? Hopefully. We don't have livestock income anymore. It's still going down just a bit, but this one is going down way more. The other ones are all happy and loyal and all that stuff. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, we've been converting people, so we don't have that. If we did national unrest, it should be fine. It should fix uh, the whole business over here, hopefully. Hopefully. It just sucks. Our oratory power sucks so much. This guy is such a crappy leader. It's horrible. And he's not even dying. I just... Dude, this guy is of the age. He's ready. He wants to be a governor. Hmm. Let's arrange marriage for him. See, my, look, this young lady over here. Yeah, you can start producing kids. So you are... Yeah, you're not a bad governor. Could make you a governor. Of what, though? That's a good question. Uh, maybe up here. How's this guy? Yeah. Well, we change the governor. Ooh, this guy's good. Uh, but research points go down because he's obsessive. So yeah, let's get this guy. Now that should uh, make him happier, right? That should make him happier. Where is he? So he's now content in life. Perfect. So we can get a new import route here. Precious metals. 
Yes, please. No citizen happiness is good. Thank you, Dindaria. Shame of a governor. This guy. Of Illyria. Demand a payment to the city. Demand his resignation. It's gonna get us local unrest down and local tax in a, one place. Uh, he... Yeah, should just, just pay them. Dude, just, just pay them. Go ahead and do it. That's fine. Macedonia is still the most populous uh, province, really. Which is interesting. Ooh, monthly civilization stuff is what is going on over here. Province Lord is going up here. This one is still the one that's dropping. We at least get four zeal instead of just two. Which is doable, I think. It is doable. It's a bit more easier. That's the Dardania. This one over here is more easier. We don't even have everything here that we could have. Unhappy people and all that stuff. Yeah. We can assimilate one of you. And that's about it. Unpause. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Yeah, if you have an empire like this, the, the cost for assimilation, all that stuff, is just crazy. It is just crazy. I'm guessing... Uh, who are you? Selassid. Garden of Asia. You know what? I don't care. Boys, we have pirates over here. Let's go into this port. Yes, yes, the game shall always be held. No worries. Lack of governor of Asia. Right. So we could get this guy, but research points would be kind of crappy, even though he's good at this. Just get uh, this one, maybe? Commerce income up, and local slave output up. And, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It's, yo, get this guy. He seems nice, and we have no trade routes here. But we have no civic power. Hopefully our dude gets civic power soon. Rome being a, my neighbor, that could uh, make uh, things problematic. Are they a major power? Are we a major power? I don't know. I think we are. Egypt, I don't think, has grown at all in the whole game besides taking this border over here. And I think they took these lands over here. That's all. Took some of the stuff from uh, Cyrenaica and that's, that's about it. Carthage has grown a bit here. These guys are blobbing a bit. Yeah, Carthage is blobbing over here. Hmm. Oh, we have Rome on our borders. Look at that. They did not eat the whole Dalmatia. They left them a bit, but yeah, Rome on our borders. So it begins. We need a Trophius. You do what, Trophius? You're not gonna tell me? Well, just get a good dude in there. Sacrifice to the gods cost. Okay. Yeah. You would wish our dude was such oratory genius, but he's not. And he's not even dying. Dude, you're 62. It's enough. Just please. Let your son rule. He's much better. Just let him rule, okay? I think uh, we could improve the borders over here with Rome. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And this mountain fort. Let's do that. And then we have a fort over here. This would be hills. Yeah. Let's get uh, a hill fort over here. You know, borders with Rome. Rome's gonna attack us. There's no question about that. Uh, so having uh, proper fortified borders. I wouldn't mind that, really. I really would not mind that. <clears throat> oh, that's my horse archers, right? I really need to be careful what I do with them. Look at that. No more papyrus. Oh, I hate Egypt. Really, they're the freaking worst, man. They're the worst. Can we get some... Uh, oh, we already have extra earthenware. Please, game. Let me... Let me get my earthenware or whatever I want, okay? Move one, we have extra iron. We have vegetables. I'll need stone. 
hemp. Yeah, we could get hemp. Extra slave output. Sure. Do that? Yeah. Thank you, Bosporian Kingdom. Wish you would give me my horses back. Wherever we had them. Over here, I think. <gasps> he has done it. Give me my horses back. Let's go. We can reinforce that. Perfect, perfect. You have no trade routes. Did I see that the camels are available again? No, they're not. Well, that's okay. This is what I wanted. National unrest. Let's check this now. Moesia is still dropping, but uh, hopefully next month this should uh, jump up. Someone gave me money. Yep, it's going up. Good, 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 good. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's done. With that done, we can now look who we want to conquer next. We have finally cleared us out. Macedon still lives, though. They will forever be uh, guaranteed by Egypt. We can't directly attack Thrace. Bastia or Pisencia, though. Pisencia. There's Dardania still. Where's Bastia? That's a good question. There's a couple of small things. Dardania. Taurus. Dardania. Is that, that's not the same Dardania. It's even two Dardanias. Who is this? Rebels? Migrant Horde? Horde Rebels? Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's these guys. And Bastia is there. So you could attack Pisencia. Dardania. Malvensis. Is that small thing there? Thurs is also a small thing. Thrace is a small thing. Bastia is a small thing. And then Macedon. And then we just go and kill Macedon. Because that's what we'd want to do, really. <laughs> After we kill Macedon, we can also kill Thrace. And then we have Phrygia over here as well. Yeah, the, the blobbers did blob in this game. I mean, Phrygia took some stuff over here, but that's about it. Marian Revolt is just... Wow. These guys have been fighting each other for a long, long time. For a very, very long time. Uh, fighting going on over here? Nothing too bad, right? Yeah. The 58 cohorts. So if I fight, fought you, Pizencia, you have 56. And there's Taurus with 5. Dardania as well, right? Yeah, Dardania with 12. Or these lands. Have to do that. Macedon has 5. Thrace has 6. Bastia can bring 24. You know what? Two cities have 24k. That's bullshit. This game has some, uh, I think, some serious problems with uh, how uh, things are done. I think uh, they should, in general, just have the amount of troops every country can get. I think that would make sense. Because it doesn't make sense that a small country like this can have 24 cohorts and still be in positive money. Like, um, it should they should do something like an EO4 where we have the top amount, how much troops you have before you start paying too much. You know? That would make a lot of sense. Oh, that's nice. Morale of armies. Uh, that would make a lot of sense. Because right now, it's just... You know, you go fight someone that has maybe 30k troops... But they have like 70k manpower. They will turn all those 70k into another 70k troops right away. Even though they're without manpower, lose double the money because of that. And it's just it's just stupid. The way this is going. Sure, we're gonna give people gold. I don't really care about our gold. We have plenty. <clears throat> so yeah, I think that there needs to be something like that happening. Uh, especially because all of that is then mostly lost to, uh, uh, what's it called? Now my brain cannot work, huh? Mostly lost to attrition. There you go. Most of these armies, they will build, like a small nation like this is going to build like 30k troops. And they're going to put them all in one spot and just attrition to death slowly. And that's, <laughs> that's just not how this should work, really. I don't, I'm not quite happy. Ew, Armenian Civil War ends. 
You guys had Civil War? Armenia's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite proud of them. What is this? Paphlagonia and Fury. I think I gave them early access. Early access? <laughs> I gave them access. Oh, they're fighting Armenia. Right. <clears throat> That's why they need access through me, you know? Because they're fighting Armenia on the other side. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, so if you were to fight you guys, where do we have any forts? There's a level 1 fort over there. Thrace has a 1 fort as well here. Dardania has a fort over there and uh, Turris has a fort over here. And then these guys. Vicencia has 1. Wait, are we fighting Malvensis as well? I think we are. And Malvensis has two forts as well. So, uh, yeah. And these guys up here have one fort way out there. I doubt uh, Getya would give me uh, access, even though I gave it to them at some point. Yeah, nobody likes me enough. Ha! Huh. No. <laughs> Dicks, you wouldn't give me access either, so screw you. We have 13, 315k. Three, wow, okay, that's that was a weird way to say it. 315k, no, 316k is our max manpower right now. We gain 1k every month. Damn, Cirrus, find it. Cirrus, where is that? Where is that? Oh, it's here. Uh, get extra citizens? Sure. Freeman, slave, order call, population growth. No, just get two citizens. That's fine. Look, we can build you another thing. Definitely don't need that fort there, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, my man. Whatever floats your boat. Now, I would love to do promotions of freemen to citizens because we really don't need as much of manpower. But I just, I just can't afford it. I guess I could promote one slave. You know, because we have one extra. But it's also... Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's just... We're just not getting any uh, power. So, we are very, very much hindered by this old fart who doesn't want to die. Prestigious stuff, my ass. This guy's a pretender. 6888. 4982. Well, he's definitely better. You could stay a governor. He prefers uh, the other guy. What can we make? We can make you off. You have extra zeal. You're content in life. Second son of a ruler. Okay. Hmm. I wish you could do more with him. No. Yeah. He's not a pretender. Oh, you can imprison a pretender, huh? Ooh. I don't want to imprison a pretender. I would like to imprison our heir. Three hands. Will cost... Okay. Citizen appears in somewhere. Or slaves appear in somewhere. Dar... Down Rome. Which is... Where? Please show me. It's here. Sure, these guys are unhappy. Give me some citizens. Look, they're Hellenic. And all that stuff. They're not Peloponnesian, apparently, but make them happen. So, where's my heir? Can I imprison my heir? What is this? Give free ends. Uh, do you use Governor of Macedonia against uh, free hands? Until end of the game, monthly loyalty goes up, monthly corruption goes up. Yeah, we don't really need you to be corrupt. You could lose popularity over here. Can't imprison him. Uh, do we have anybody that's this loyal? Another lady over here. Uh, oh no, that's another lady. That's an old guy that's gonna die in one month, really. A couple of months, six months. Yeah, that's perfect. Natural causes is 46. Well, that's unfortunate. You have a 17 year old that can actually do something. 
That guy's gonna die. This guy is disloyal. Why? Because he's a pretender? He's not a general. Oh. He is a general. That's why it's a problem. He's a pretender and a general. And... Uh, this guy... Doesn't tell me what it happens to your loyalty. So where's the general? Beacon? Beacon. Your general of third stratus? Where's my third stratus? Oh, he's already disloyal. <sighs> really? Game, why don't you tell me that earlier? That's the guy with all the horses. Oh my god. I freaking hate you, man. No. No. Okay, we need to do something about us. We need to bribe him. He's gonna gain a bunch of loyalty. Bribe the bastard. Quickly. Game, stop saving right now. Thank you. Pause. There's my third Stratos here. Dismiss him. Thank you. I know he might have been good, but dismiss the bastard. I don't want him leading my horses. Definitely not. My horses are important. So where are you now? Bacon whatever. Some of them are scorned. This one is scorned. This one is scorned. So he was Pilafrid? Wasn't he? No. Pintaid. There it is. Beacon. He's a pretender. He's not a pretender, apparently. Maybe he was a pretender. He's content in life. Maybe he was a pretender because... Uh, yeah, because he had loyal armies. So he is uh, eight military. Let's see. I'm gonna put him here to be uh, Epistrategos. Yeah, put him there. There you go. You can fix our mercenary maintenance. Not that we have any, but you can be there. Better. Much better. Wow. What's up? Sparta institutes anti-piracy edict. Pirate spawn chance goes down. We lose oratory power, which I don't wanna. And he gets to be loyal. He can deal with it. He gets popularity and prominence. We lose military power. Or he loses loyalty. And we get local unrest in Thessalonica. No, he can deal with it. It's fine. He doesn't control the army anymore. So whatever he does, whatever. Let's see. The Olympics. Yeah, let, let it be known. So we should now have 4th level 2 here, 4th level 2 there, and 4th level... Well, this one is going to be 2 soon-ish as well. So we have like a 4th border over here. Just versus Rome. And the rest, not so important, right? You can have stuff... Army weight modifier. Minus 10. That's pretty good. There's a lot of good stuff here now. For on culture happiness, I think it's something we're gonna go with. It needed. It's gonna be needed. I just wish we would be so much better on this. Yeah, it just sucks. Oh, excuse me? This has changed. No wonder we are not making it. Oh my god. When did that change? And why did that change? Hmm. You have research points. I wish I knew that. I wish the game would tell me about that. Say, hey, it has changed. Governor loyalty, research points we have. General loyalty. From culture, group happiness. Um, just, just did this. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. I should have checked that like ages ago. Damn. 
he supports someone else. But he's also dying because he has infection. Eh. He might heal that, so it's not that big of a deal. That's my camels. Never to be repaired again. <laughs> Poor camels. Well, at least we might get oratory power now enough to assault someone. I probably... Has this been changed when we changed the law at some point? We had an event to change a law. Please, stop doing this. Uh, we changed the law over here. Yeah, I remember that. Did that change the governor? Government? Yeah, I don't know, because we had two military. And I know we've had issues for quite a long time with how much we were making. So I don't know when that changed. It's a very good question. Your aristocratic monarchy. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Demacia? No. You've been great once. You're not great again, so. Rome, do you have a claim on me? Yeah. What can you claim from me? It's a good question. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish the episode here. For now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that notification bell if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you next time. Kirk out.